a grim milestone. With deaths across the globe from COVID-19 at more than 200,000, much of the world remains under lockdown. But as countries begin to lift restrictions, a warning from the World Health Organization. The WHO tweeting, there is currently no evidence that people who have recovered from COVID-19 and have antibodies are protected from a second infection. Europe has been the hardest hit continent. While many countries such as Spain and Italy have seen a drop in cases and have begun to scale back orders on confinement, the United Kingdom just marked 20,000 deaths, its daily death toll still rising. Moving past 20,000 deaths um, just reminds everybody that it is still absolutely critical, absolutely critical that we continue to follow the social distancing guide, guidelines. In China, where the outbreak started, there's an effort to return to normal life, along with grave concerns about a second wave. With the highest death toll of any country in the world, the United States has a patchwork response to the outbreak, with only some states lifting stay-at-home orders. I know it's a hard time. To the north, Canada remains on lockdown. Australia and New Zealand are reporting a small number of infections each day, down from hundreds in March. South America has been spared the worst of the virus so far, with several thousand deaths. But experts are warning of a possible large-scale outbreak in the coming weeks. Africa's numbers have also been lower than the rest of the world. But the continent has seen a jump in coronavirus cases of more than 40 percent in just one week. There are fears it could become the new epicenter of the pandemic.